starting by moving down on our backs, soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, <clears throat> down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. <clears throat> Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths.
Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are straight out, scoot your hips back. Possibly placing your sit bones on your bolster. Again, flex those feet, sit up straight. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right side, east and west. And then drag that left elbow down on the outside of your right knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Drag those shoulders back and down as you do. And breathe, opening up those hearts to the side wall as much as you can through the breath. Again, perhaps make mudras with both sets of fingers. Slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you open east and west to the left. Drag that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. Drag your shoulders back and down. Again, make mudras with both sets of fingers and smile. It's Thursday. Breathing in and out. left obliques, opening our hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Placing your hands on either side of those calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down chin to shin, and then just curl in. Again, we're in Dandasana, staff pose. This position slows our heart rate down, calms us down. Again, breathing in and out. Moving closer and closer to your thighs through the breath. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. And we're here for three minutes. So make sure that your heels are comfortable, that they're on a soft surface. Let's take 
two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging that left heel in. Flex your right foot. Moving into half dandasana. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 all the way down. Chin to shin. And then just curl in. In half dandasana. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Almost halfway there. If you found some space to move into, do so now. <clears throat> Take two more deep breaths here in and out in half dandasana. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that right knee to your left knee. Twist to the back of the room. Sit up straight. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward. Placing your right cheek on the block. Breathing in and out. Again, we're in a full body twist, and this is a chakra expansion. Imagine that white light rising from your root to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, and all the way up to your crown chakra. Shooting out, filling the world with light. Thank you. 
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming up to the tops of your mats, extend your legs, shake them out. Then inhale first and exhale as you bend your right knee, dragging your right heel in. Sit up on your bolster if this is in your practice. Flex your, flex your left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale down. Reach, reach, reach. Hinge at the hips. All the way down. Chin to shin. And then just curl in. Again, in half dandasana. Breathing in and out. breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left to your right knee. Twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. And exhale forward. Placing that left cheek on the block. Again, in a full body twist. Twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks.
Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands. Place your bolster in front of you. Inhale both arms. Actually, before you do that, let's go ahead and roll up into table. Place the toes together, knees as wide as the mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you come back down onto your sit bones and walk those hands out. In Balasana with Bhattakanasana knees. And again, it's always possible to do this with your knees directly underneath your torso if this is uncomfortable. Placing that third eye on the mat if you'd like to, maybe rocking back and forth. Opening up your intuition. We're opening our shoulders, our hips, our lower backs. Breathing in and out. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. Uh, cross your legs one more time. Place your hands on either side of you. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find that left ear. And exhale over to the right. Opening up that left side of your neck. And smile, it's Thursday. 
Breathing in and out. And breathing in and out. Good job. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale down. Come up onto your knees. Extend that right leg out. Point your toe. <clears throat> Place your right hand on your right knee. Inhale that left arm up and over, sliding that right hand down as much as possible. Looking up towards the ceiling, opening up those left obliques. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you bend that knee. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Inhale that right arm up and over. Slide your left hand down as far as you can. Don't put any pressure on your knee. Make sure that you're either above or below your knee and breathe. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you bend that knee. Good job. And then from here, come back down onto your sit bones. We're going to be moving our legs up the wall. Hopefully you have a wall you can move your mat to. Allowing the circulation to come back down to our brain. Back down to our vital organs. Turning our mats so that they face the wall. Possibly Place your bolster in the middle of your mat so that you can lie back on it. And then place your hips up against the wall. Bend your knees. Inhale first. Exhale as you twist towards the wall. Extending your legs upward. Scooch your hips in. Flex your feet. Breathing in and out. In legs up the wall. wonderful exercise to do right before you go to bed to calm you down to allow you to stay asleep when you go to sleep again breathing in and out in legs up the wall We're here for three minutes.
Let's take two more deep breaths in and out. In lights up the wall. Then slowly inhale and exhale as your legs fall open with gravity as far as they can into dragonfly. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you place the soles of your feet together, knees out wide, dragging the blades of your feet down towards your sit bones. In Baddha Konasana. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out, in Baddha Konasana. <clears throat> then slowly inhale as you extend your legs upward. Exhale as you bend your right knee. 
dragging the sole of your right foot down the wall. Cross that right foot underneath your left knee. Push on that right knee. And maybe bend that left knee. Dragging the sole of your left foot down the wall. Opening up that right hip. Breathing in and out. Take two more deep breaths here in Pigeon. Again, we've been opening up that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there. Inhale as you extend your legs up. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging the sole of your left foot down the wall. Cross your left ankle below your right knee. Press on that left knee and then maybe bend that right knee. Drag the sole of your right foot down the wall. Again, you can either be here or you can stay with that leg extended if this is easier. Wherever you are is perfect. Opening up that left hip, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. Handy. 
Bend your knees. Draw your heels back to your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up. Place the block underneath your sacrum on the highest, the second, or the third levels. Wherever you are is perfect. And then exhale down into a supported bridge. Again, you can also be in regular bridge if you don't have a block. With your hands clasped in prayer beneath you, walking your shoulders under, pressing into your heels to rise higher, watching your bellies rise and fall in bridge pose, dragging your chins in towards your chest, to stimulate the thyroid gland as well. Again, we're here for a little bit longer today because we're in yin yoga, opening up those lower backs even more, possibly drawing those arms overhead, possibly walking your feet out so that you're on your heels if this is in your practice. Again, wherever you are is perfect. If you have your arms and legs extended, draw those arms back beside your torso, walk your feet in, inhale as you Push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down. Draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, place the soles of your feet as wide as the mat. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first, exhale as your knees fall down to the left, as far as you can in windshield wipers. Inhale back to center, exhale down to the right, as far as you can. Inhale to center, exhale down to the left. Inhale to center, exhale down to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale this time down to the left and place your left foot on top of your right thigh. Look off to the right. that right foot on top of your left knee, look off to the left. Release that right foot. 
Inhale those knees back to center and then draw them in for a hug. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your block in hand. Inhale as you push your hips up. Place your block underneath your sacrum on the lowest level. And then draw those legs up above you. And one last, last inversion. Breathing in and out. Slowly exhale as you bend your knees. Placing the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you push those hips up, release the block. And exhale down, good job. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead. Extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, 
I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Merci. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Hope everybody has a wonderful day today. Thanks again. <clears throat> and take care. Thank you, everyone.